The SNH, it, it covers everything. Fermilab is about research, and so you need to facilitate the research, and so you're, you're trying to help people do their research effectively, but also safely and without affecting the environment. You also, in the bigger picture, want to try and keep people healthy by having you know, health fitness programs available to them. There's a lot of different opportunities within ESNH. So you could work within the SNH section, which facilitates the overall lab programs, or you can work within one of the divisions where you're more doing hands-on work within the accelerator complex or on the detector. And so you can sort of move around between those areas, not only working on environmental work, but safety work, and also it's fun doing these health incentive programs and trying to figure out how to keep people healthy. You need to stop and think how to do things appropriately. And so with Take 5, it's, it's talking about ahead of time, you take five minutes and take five minutes and look at what am I going to do? Do I know how to do it? Do I need to follow a particular procedure? Do I have it? What PPE do I need? Do I have that? And, and just looking at, am I, am I doing the right thing here? Should I do it at a different time because something else is going on? You figure out you know, what are the strengths and weaknesses of people in your section and you work with that and um, try and motivate them, keep them happy facilitate their work, provide them with the tools they need. I am an ESNH specialist and I have been at the lab for seven years. And right now I actually work in the environmental protection group and we work to keep the lab in compliance with environmental laws like the Clean Water Act and the Clean Air Act. We have to do sampling and inspecting to ensure that the lab isn't violating any of those laws. Specifically I work on the SPCC plan which is basically the lab's plan that's in place to prevent oil from reaching waters of the United States. We actually have three creeks on site that are considered waters of the U.S. and so we have to protect all of our transformers and bulk oil and we have a couple tankers of oil and lots of 55 gallon drums of oil. All those have to be protected to make sure that oil doesn't spill into those creeks. You need to get people to understand that they need to incorporate all these things into their work and that it's very important in order for us to keep doing research. We work in a beautiful setting. I love the environment here. It's the prairie and you know the wide open spaces. It's really nice. It's a very open uh, communication environment and a lot of interesting people working here. You know those those kind of things are what keep people keep people here.